fellow Linux gamers. My name is GoSquad57, and today I am playing Tiny Ant Big in Grandpa's Leftovers. For those of you who don't know, Tiny Ant Big in Grandpa's Leftovers is a 3D platforming uh, puzzle adventure game. The game is developed by Black Pant Studios and it uses the Scape engine. I'm not really familiar with that engine, but that's not really that important right now. Now, uh, one of the things you see is that the game sort of has a very unique visual style. Uh, I do respect Black Pant Studios for trying to make their game different. I really do because, in my opinion, a lot of games today are just bland, repetitive, and it's very nice to get a sort of cartoony, uh, silly storyline kind of game, you know what I mean, to just sort of distract you from all the crappy games out there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the storyline of the game is pretty, pretty out there. Basically, uh, people's been, their, uh, your brother Big has been stealing people's pants and you have to get them back. And that's very hilarious. Uh, but yes, the menu screen you only really get the basic necessities when it comes to options. I mean, you get your sound, you get your volume, your resolution, full screen, vertical sync, brightness, and quality settings. You know, very basic stuff. But I, I don't really see anything wrong with that. I mean, options get the jobs done. Then you have controls. You can remap your key bindings, which is very, very nice. Uh, now, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and select select level. Now I'm going to select the second level because I feel like that's a good level to st start on. <coughs> now I should mention that I am running this game on Debian GNU slash Linux testing edition, codenamed Jesse. Uh, my processor is a Intel i5 3550 and my graphics card is a Radeon HD 5750. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the game. Now you play as Tiny. Which is this guy right here. He always has goggles. Gets to keep sand out of his eyes. Yeah, uh, whenever the character speaks, he makes this weird noise. Like right there, he made like a yeah sound. Uh, so yeah, here's actual gameplay, WASD moves, spacebar jumps, uh, left click is your laser, and right click is your graphic hook, very standard controls, nothing special, but doesn't really have to be. See here, pick up the uh, radio, and music starts playing. You also get a little introduction there. Now this is a little cool thing, a uh, little cool bit of interaction, as you can kick around the robot taxi driver's head. It's pointless cruelty, but you know it's it's fun to do. One of the, now here's one of the first puzzles. Push it. All right. Seems like a puzzle game I could really get into. See here now I have the tool, which is basically just this grappling hook that you shoot by holding right click, and uh, once it's on an item, you just sort of move that item, and there you go. Very fun to use. I will give uh, Black Pants Studios credit for making the items very fun to use. Whoa! Especially the laser, which we're getting just up here. I, I very much like the music in this game. It's very uh, almost westerny. Yeah, you see here now. Uh, this is the laser. You open it by left clicking, by holding left click, and the way you aim it is you basically just move your mouse horizontally and the further you move your mouse the more this line draws out. Uh, you can also do it horizontally. You can move while in this mode too, although you can't change your what you're aiming. Let's just go ahead and cut these cactuses. Now here uh, the grandpa who is on the radio tells me to smash little bug. Ah, the desert's filled with them. Don't worry about them. <laughs> yeah, and here's one of the cool things about the game is as you progress, you unlock, uh, you get music tapes which unlock more and more music. 
And as I said, I very much as I said, I very much like the music in this game. Now up there is the rocket item, which is my favorite item by far. Basically the way it works is, um, <coughs> excuse me, you hit the uh, middle mouse button and it shoots this little rocket. And then once it's uh, on the object, you hold the middle mouse button and it just flies around. It's very cool. Very fun to use. See here we have an instance where I have to just shoot this, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so the game has a bit of a comic book uh, feel to it. You see here when you like shoot things, it makes like a spack sound, and you have the characters pop up, which is a nice touch. I do like the writing in this game too. It's very uh, comedic. Now, uh, see here. You're supposed to use these sort of gray areas as a guide as to how you're supposed to cut it. Now I'm going to... Ooh, I don't want to cut the last part up there. I think I'll... Mm, that looks about right. Now I could use the grappling hook to get them down, but I'll just use the rocket. Because it's funner. Woo! That's always fun. Hmm, I should probably go, there's a secret area over there, but let's go ahead and check it out. Might as well look for secrets. Uh, hmm. Oh, I see now, there's something over there, there's like a little ledge. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's just barely short enough. I probably gotta get this thing over here. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is very dry. Alright, let's go ahead and move this over here. I've never been up there before. Seems like there's a secret or something nice up there. Hopefully there's a music tape. Alright, looks like precision cutting is needed. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, that's genius. Alright. I think I already sort of got an idea how I'm supposed to cut this. Yeah, that looks about right. And just sort of pull it down. Oh, don't fall! Remove it. Alright, now it's... Yep. Oh, damn it. It's like a little... Oh, I can get right there, yeah. You know what? Ooh, cool. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be one of the greatest collectibles in any game. A boring stone. I love, I love that. Oh, apparently I unlocked an achievement. Guy, little guy went in the hole there. Oh. <laughs> It's a pretty cool area. Let's go ahead and see if I can scale it somehow. Uh, let me see here. Can I move this? Nope. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can. This is just a secret area. Let's go ahead and jump down. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, those ragdoll physics are amazing. Okay, so let's not jump down this time. Let's just sort of take our time and run across. I don't know if that would be a kill jump. Let's see. Nope. All right, that's good. All right, now let's go ahead and exit this level. There's probably more secrets I'm missing, but I don't really feel like exploring this level for too long. If you jump in rapid succession, it kind of looks like the character is uh, skipping, which is nice. Actually, jumped in the cutscene there. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, see, I, lo I, lo I always love that little bit of writing right there. Yeah, now after uh, beating a level, you get these stats here. Very standard stuff. You get your time, your st how many boring stones you collected, how many tapes you collected, uh, how many, your efficiency of cuts. Like you see here, it says I did six cuts to beat the level when I could have did it in just two. Uh, I died once, which was BS. If you get lost, follow the boring stones. So yeah, you do get hints in the bottom of the screen, which is standard for really any game. Now here is the uh, second level, which is, uh, yeah, from altitude on upwards. I always liked it when games did that sort of title screen. It was kicked your ass pretty hard, didn't he? Uh, I love that writing. Yeah, and I get to climb up, skill up the mountain, and kick Big's ass. But uh, for now, I feel like I've really talked enough about the game. Uh, I feel like I've explained the game good enough to give you guys a sort of general idea. Uh, I do very much like this game. Um, it's very fun and different, and it's very unique. I really like it. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any feedback, remember to leave it in the comment section of the video. Uh, let me know what you think of the game in the comments. And uh, GhostSquad57, signing out.